everyone welcome to the new vlog it's uh, 2nd of October I've just done my nails and since the weather is so nice I decided to go for a walk I brought my sketchbook with me so I'll see if I can sit down somewhere and maybe do some sketching I only brought some dry media so I brought some pencils and pens no watercolors so I'm gonna challenge myself to just using dry media today I've done dry sketching so I used Tombows and colored pencils for this only. but the other problem is there's nowhere to sit and I don't really want to sit on the ground because it's a little bit cold and wet so that's a no and I forgot to take my foam uh, seat so I'm trying to find a bench or somewhere I could sit on or at least rest my stuff so yeah uh, I'm taking a lot of reference photos so hopefully I will be able to paint from them as well but yeah for now I'm looking for a ooh, Conkers are falling. <laughs> Let me show you. It's a nice one. Apparently. Uh, if you put conkers on the windowsill, it will stop spiders coming in. So every year I collect some and then I put them all over my house on the windowsills. So these are my tools. I've done this. So this one was mostly like a value studies and it was done with uh, these bad boys pencils and Karandash Neopolis oh yeah this is the place I'm gonna pack up now I'm gonna pack up now and head home because it's already half past four I still have some dinner to cook it was a nice day productive Woo! I have 
have just sat down to do a Tamara Sagathivan. <clears throat> Go up. My hair is looking mad. Never mind. I've just sat down to do a Tamara Sagathivan Rus Ruskaya art a life book lesson. Uh, her uh, airing the dirty laundry lesson, but. <laughs> I've ordered something from Jackson's the other day and it's just arrived so I think a quick unboxing is in order and we'll do some swatches as well. That should be fun. I had this super cute, uh, there it is, also my kaleidoscope i loved uh, playing with a kaleidoscope when i was a kid and i picked one up when i was on holiday recently it's so cool how cool is that <laughs> okay back to unboxing i've got my knife Oh, I literally just cut the roll. The bloody invoice. Never mind. First things first. Acrylic gel medium because I've run out of uh, mine. I only have super heavy one, which is too heavy. I usually use the Liquitex one, but I wanted to try uh, Jackson's own so yeah and here <laughs> I've got I've got Roman Schmau uh, Cherry Quinacridone uh, Red which I already have but I wanted to add it to my little tiny palette this is the this is the color and I wanted to add it to my small palette so that can go there and <laughs> look at that do you think I have enough greens <sighs> I was drawing the other day and I felt like I didn't have enough green color so I kind of went crazy and I ordered from different brands. I, I've got, they went Chromaflow, I've got uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos. Uh, I've never had those ones and this is Faber-Castell as well. I think, yeah. So I've got, they went Chromaflow and Faber-Castell Polychromos. So, Let's watch them really quickly. watches first impressions then definitely uh, not as creamy as uh, Derwin light fast and uh, Karen dash these are super super creamy I love them but they're nice so this is what my cup looks like now oh, I'm loving all this green yesterday 
Okay, let me switch. So yesterday I went for my little plain air sketching walk and I felt like I was missing certain colours. So you probably like seen it before, but yeah, I've, I've done this one and I have this one. And I felt like I didn't have enough green. So it was one of those... I mean, I've ordered these colours before I've done the sketches, but even then I felt like I didn't have enough greens. I felt like I have a lot of different colours, uh, quite a few blues, because I like blues and phthalo colours and like turquoises and stuff, but I felt like I didn't have enough greens. So I think my green <laughs> temporary obsession with green is now satisfied. I think I'm just going to chill for a bit and not order anything but uh, back to work I think I'm gonna do Tamara's lesson now I'm gonna show you what I have I can't really show you the process because it's a paid course live book 2023 so I'm gonna do the work and then I'm gonna share with you um, the end result so this is what I have so far for my background. I am working on the A3 watercolour paper and I've done some writing and I put some collage papers on as well and some tissue paper and I've also added some crackle paste. I thought that was going to finish it today but crackle paste needs to dry for about 24 hours before you start adding uh, liquid on top for um for it to crack properly basically so i think maybe tomorrow if i have time i will finish um finish doing that lesson happy days i've ordered some prints for the three wise painting that i've done and they just arrived so let me unbox it quickly and show you i've opened the box but i've not lifted up the paper that's on top of the print so i'm excited to see <laughs> so that's the first one this is size a5 and i've also ordered a6 they look so good. Sorry, my son is making noise. But yeah, this is the A6 and this is A5. They look so good. I've again I went for a soft touch lamination and it just feels so nice. So so hopefully by the time you watch this video they will be in my Etsy shop these two and I hope you ex as excited for them as I am gonna set my <sighs> photography space here and take some pictures and upload these babies to my Etsy shop and if you're interested you will find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box below and if you do buy them oh my gosh I am so grateful it always makes me happy when people get my art even if it's just a print so yes thank you so much in advance hello I know I look like a mess but I'm so excited yesterday was such a fun day we went uh, to Milton Keynes me and my friends from work and we did some indoor skydiving oh my gosh it was so much fun it was like you get two minutes uh, in a wind tunnel and you could do uh, a high fly with an instructor and I was so scared I don't like heights so the first time I went my first turn I didn't do it but then on the second go I was like hell yeah I'm gonna do it and it was so much fun probably seeing the clips on the screen now but I loved it I loved every second of it it was so much fun and if you ever get an opportunity to do something like this I highly highly recommend this 
and also I'm sorry for my scruffy look today but um it's my rest day today and I normally don't ever put makeup on rest day and let just let my skin breathe but I'm so excited because look what just arrived Yee, my 2024 northern line stations calendar we've got a 12 it's featuring 12 stations that i've done so there's 12 of them and it's such a lovely size uh, a3 last year uh, when i did this calendar it was size a4 so this year i just went for something bigger so we can have bigger boxes to put all the information and notes in i don't know if you can see i don't know what the light is like but also uh, because I work in a company uh, that uh, basically a week starts on Sunday and in the UK it's really hard to get a calendar or a diary that with a week starting on Sunday so when I designed those I made sure they start on Sunday because I put this calendar on my wall, I put my rest days in there, I put my shifts in there and it's actually for me it makes sense when the week starts on Sunday so I'm so excited for these. These are super limited edition. I have eight of them listed in my Etsy shop. Hopefully by the time you watch this video they'll still be available because I know there's a lot of people that want to get their hands um, on this cal calendar but if you do uh, check it out I'll put the link in the description box below if you're interested in getting one of those and I'll see like if there is enough interest I might order a few more copies um, but for now there's only eight available and uh, yeah I'm so excited anyway also what I want to do today I wanted to show you actually because if you've not seen the other videos that I've been posting I've been working on the Inktober challenge this year as well last year I was just doing uh, pen sketches and I was actually working on my drawing skills but this year I wanted to improve my illustration skills so I take three to four prompts and I create an illustration based on this prompt on these prompts and I try to create a story behind the illustration and so far I've done three there's three videos available on my channel as well well and the time I'm recording this and I will put the link to the playlist in the cards uh, so you can have a look if you're interested but let me just show you quickly so that's the first illustration I've done and then after that I've done this and and this so I've got I've got three so far uh, I think today I might be working on uh, the next illustration which will be for days 12 13 14 and 15 uh, and also the other plan is uh, you know when I mentioned to you um, earlier on that I'm working on the life book lesson with um, Tamara Sagat even um, I started it and it actually turned into something else but the words that she said in her lesson actually really resonated with me and I think this is the reason my painting going in my painting is uh, going into this darker side so so I've got the background ready for it I still don't know which way I'm going to use the background but I have an idea in my head and I've done a few sketches as well for the thing that I want to put on this background so that's another thing I want to work on this on today anyway I'm gonna go back to work uh, I'm gonna see if I can work on Tamara's painting on my painting but based on Tamara's lesson and then I'll catch you later Hello, it's Sunday, fifteenth uh, of October, and I'm really, really sorry, but this vlog is going to be so long. <laughs> 
but I wanted to give you a quick update before I close it off here. I finished the lesson and this is the painting that I've done. It's in a frame so there's um, quite a lot of uh, reflections but I will put the picture up on the uh, screen as well so you can see it and also you can have a look at it on my Instagram which I'll put the link to down below and you'll probably see it on the screen as well but yeah this is the painting done with this i am closing this vlog i'm actually editing this vlog as we speak and i've realized how long it was and no one's probably gonna watch it till the end but if you didn't you're lost basically <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for your patience and have a good Sunday and a good week ahead. Bye!